The emergence of Senator Monde Okbevolo as candidate of the All Progressives Congress, APC, could be described as a premeditated move by party elders and leaders due to his compassionate heart towards people's welfare and unquenchable hunger to make life meaningful for the people. I go and confirm, verify, in the whole village of Visha, Monde Okbevolo have succeeded putting Bueho Run the whole Having provided basic necessities of life to the people across various communities in a dose central senatorial district, even before becoming a senator of the Federal Republic, the love and support for Senator Monde Ukbevolo became enormous when he was announced as flag bearer of the APC candidates. Look at the search run. See who be the person when go feel deliver us. Because you will not be there when they go to talk your your matter. This man so tell before he become a senator, he don't fail do for many people. Give scholarship. I would believe that he's a man who is a grass rooter. He has been there for a very long time. And from that grass root he became a senator. And I believe that he will have what it takes to deliver. Oh, we've come here to solicit for votes to spread the gospel according to Saint Akpakomiza. He's a very gentle man and he's done so, so much for uh, people in Edo, uh, Edo Central Centuria. I love him as a man because he always moves us, even in my village. Anything he's doing, he do it clearly. If he get boy, boy in my village, all the whole nearby village, in, around my village, there's boy who, or who that man put. I love that man because Whenever I come and say you want to do, send it. I did not hesitate. I follow a bomber to bomber. Use an Esa man, the real Esa man, not Esa man who cannot speak Esa. As the governor of the state, in the person of Senator Monte Okoro. This is the person that tomorrow will leave with you to go for on the 23rd. Senator Monde Okwevolo's compassionate heart towards the people in a dose state was a testimony of his endorsement and support showered on him by different community leaders in Edo South Senatorial District, led by the Duke of Igwogiek Dukedom, His Royal Highness Osagede Festus. The community leaders gave their endorsements through the APC campaign DG, Senator Matsu Urogide, and former Deputy Governor of Edo State, Loki Imaswe. <laughs> Nalao, Monte Pebulu, aka Pacumiza, Emma, Yam, a candidate, Ma, Abua Nicola, the Mabua, and the Mari Moody message is over. Religious body, including Christians and Muslims, were not left out of the endorsement of the Senator Monde Okbevolo in his quest to positively change Edo for the better. Pastor Frank Omobude, Director APC Christian Campaign Committee Chairman, led over 25,000 Christians to endorse Senator Monde Okbevolo and Dennis Idahosa candidacy, just as Muslim communities across Edo followed suit. The last eight years, it has been impossible for the voice of Muslims to be heard in the affairs of uh, the state. We are confident that the APC government will ensure that the Muslim takes their pride of place in the affairs of state. Kukwe the Muslim in our community, we have suffered a lot of neglect and marginalization. And that is why we deem it fit to converge here today to relate our uh, issues, tender them before the APC governorship candidate. And we are hopeful that when he is elected a governor, he will definitely not turn away or look the other way as regards these issues that have you know, bothered us for long. We see we have come together as the Muslims committee in Edo North to realize that Monde Obevolo, the APC candidate, is the only person among all the old aspirants that is voted for. The long marginalization 
that the Muslims in Edo State have been receiving from the present government will be put to an end. The present government, the Christian campaign committee, has transferred the killing senatorial district of Edo State, reaching out to church leaders and preaching the good news of our APC candidates and the positive transformation we intend to bring into our students. Various business and social political organizations, including the National Butchers, Employers Union of Nigeria, Edo Volunteer Group, Edo Movement Group for Quevolo, Asian Daughter Support Group, Edo Level Foundation, and Edo Volunteer Movement have also demonstrated uncommon love and endorsements for APC candidates, saying that Edo will be better when Okwevolo becomes the governor. I want to say here particularly that. The National Butchers Employer Union of Nigeria yes, happen to be the national chairman. We hereby endorse Senator Mondo Pueblo and Dennis Dauza as our sole candidate for the president. What we want is not only one person, it's not the only one. Who are our laws for? Which is not the laws for? Before you don't say, if I'm the governor, future I will do. Before you become, if they are taking money for government, I will do this. Before you build, what you do you want? How much what you can build? Hand over to the union. Everything will be working. Please convert everybody in your home and in your various business places, even though it's market or whatever where you are selling. Try to convert everybody to vote for Senator Modi Okpewo. Senator Modi Okpewo. Because then go fit change this edo. Because at the time I see that man, I know my spirit don't tell me say he go walk. The APC women, led by its national leader, Dr. Mary Alile, were not left out in the endorsement of Senator Monday Okwevolo candidacy, insisting that APC candidates for September 21st governorship election has the capacity to deliver dividends of democracy to a dull people. Most of women are standing behind our uh, candidates. That's 21st of September, you are gone. You don't even want to vote for that day now. I want to assure you on behalf of my principal that your labor will not go in vain. I want all of you that are youth to join me to thank APC for giving you the youth tickets. That's you to go. Because this government belongs to the youth. The choice of Mondo Pablo and Dennis Dausa is a perfect choice. They have history of performance. When National Assembly took care of it, I was in the Senate last already. It performed well. You know, we have that when they renewed this mandate in 2023. Look at him, they call him Mr. Project. Dennis has brought everything to his conscience. <laughs> As the governorship election is few days away, it is hoped that Senator Monday Okwevolo emerge victorious in the much-awaited poll.